Eleven major cities that are running out of water. Even though 70% of the globe is covered in water, only 3% of that is fresh water, and about 99% of that non-salt water is stuck in glaciers and snow fields. No continent is safe from a lack of clean drinking water. Over 1 billion people lack access to water, and another 2.7 billion find it scarce for at least one month of the year. A 2014 survey of the world's 500 largest cities estimates that one in four are in a situation of water stress. According to UN endorsed projections, global demand for fresh water will exceed supply by 40% in 2030, thanks to a combination of climate change, human action, and population growth. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. Due to a combination of climate change, human action, and population growth, water shortages are predicted to become increasingly common in major cities as well as rural nations. Here are 11 major cities across the world at risk of running out of water. Number 1. Cape Town, South Africa Cape Town is a port city on South Africa's southwest coast on a peninsula beneath the imposing Table Mountain. Slowly rotating cable cars climb to the mountain's flat top, from which there are sweeping views of the city, the busy harbour and boats heading for Robben Island, the notorious prison that once held Nelson Mandela, which is now a living museum. Cape Town found itself in crisis in 2018 as the city braced for day zero, when little rainfall and low dam levels leveled the city with no water. However, restrictions on water usage proved effective and the city was able to push day zero back to some time in 2019 and loosen the restrictions. The city has since established a rainless day fund to manage the financial risk of future dry spells. Other challenges facing Cape Town include a growing population, contamination of rivers, and leakage from rickety infrastructure including wastewater treatment facilities in disrepair, Quart Africa reports. 2. Mexico City, Mexico Mexico City is a densely populated high-altitude capital of Mexico. It's known for its Templo Mayo, a 13th-century Aztec temple, a Baroque Cathedral Metropolitana de Mexico of the Spanish Consquitados and the Palacio Nacional, which houses historic murals by Diego Rivera. All of these are situated in and around the plaza de la Construcción, the massive main square also known as de Zulaco. Mexico's capital grew a hundred times its geographic size and seven times its population between 1950 and 2010, wiping out the area's lakes and taking a toll on its underground aquifers. About 40% of Mexico City's water supply is shipped in from far away and much of the water that can be piped in is lost to leaks and thefts. About one in five residents don't have access to water every day. Some get running water once a week and others once a month or so. The rest need their water delivered on trucks. Number 3. Jakarta, Indonesia Jakarta, Indonesia's massive capital, sits on the northwest coast of the island of Java. A historic mix of cultures, Javanese, Malay, Chinese, Arab, Indian and European, which have influenced architecture, language and cuisine. The old town Kota Tua is home to Dutch colonial buildings, Glodok and the old port of Sunda Kelapa, where traditional wooden schooners dock. About 40% of Jakarta sits below sea level as it sinks faster than any other major city. The city is flooding and the rainfall doesn't help because concrete prevents water from seeping into the ground. Piped water is so expensive that more than half of the population is forced to dig their own wells if they want water. The consequence is that digging illegal wells causes rocks and soil to collapse, causing the city to sink. To stop the well digging and the floods it causes, Jakarta will need to find a way to deliver clean piped water to its communities. But officials have yet to pinpoint a solution. 4. Cairo, Egypt Cairo, Egypt's sprawling capital, is set on the Nile River. At its heart is Tahrir Square and the vast Egyptian Museum, a throve of antiquities including royal mummies and gilded King Tutankhamun's artifacts. Nearby, Giza is the site of the iconic pyramids and Great Sphinx, dating to the 26th century BC. In Gezira Island's leafy Zamalek district, 187 meters, Cairo Tower affords panoramic city views. Nationwide, Egypt gets about 90% of its water from the Nile, but that supply could be in jeopardy now that Ethiopia is building a dam upstream. The dam is nearly in completion and Cairo is taking on a massive water treatment and desalination, a planned project to prepare for any effects on its water supply. However, Quartz Africa reports that while the dam could harm Cairo's water supply in the short term, the long-term effects could actually be beneficial. This remains to be seen once it fully takes effect. Number 5. Sao Paulo, Brazil Sao Paulo, Brazil's vibrant financial center, is among the world's most popular cities with numerous cultural institutions and a rich architectural tradition. 
Its iconic buildings range from its neo-Gothic cathedral and the 1929 Martinelli skyscraper to modernist architect Oscar Niemeyer's curvy edificio Copan. The colonial-style Patio do Colegio marks where Jesuit priests founded the city in 1554. In 2014 and 2015, Sao Paulo and nearby municipalities declared states of calamity as water reservoirs held just 5% of their maximum, which was only enough to supply the city for about a month. Deforestation of the Amazon rainforest, which creates humidity that helps rain clouds form, was said to contribute to the low precipitation, along with poor planning from authorities. When the city had less than 20 days worth of water left, a much needed rainfall saved the city from shutting taps off to irrational water and the crisis officially ended in 2016. Still, experts worry that the city is using water too quickly. Number 6. Beijing, China Beijing, China's sprawling capital, has history stretching back to three millennia. Yet it's known for modern architecture as its ancient sites such as the Grand Forbidden City Complex, the Imperial Palace during the Ming and Qing dynasties, nearby the massive Tiananmen Square pedestrian plaza, which is the site of Mao Zedong's mausoleum at the National Museum of China, displaying a vast collection of cultural relics. Since 2014, China has spent $76 billion on aqueducts sending water from its rain-heavy rural south to patch Beijing in the north. The capital city now gets about 70% of its water from other parts of China, thanks to the project. As the population continues growing and farmers lose out of their precious resources for the sake of the city dwellers, experts say that the country will need to keep rethinking how it uses water to keep up with the demand. Number 7. Chennai, India Chennai on the Bay of Bengal in eastern India is the capital of the state of Tamil Nadu. The city is home to Fort St. George, built in 1644 and now a museum showcasing the city's roots as a British military garrison and East India Company trading outpost, where it was called the Mandras. Religious sites include Kapalisiswara's temple, adorned with carved and painted gods, and St. Mary's, a 17th century Anglican church. In 2014, intense drought dried up at least six lakes around Chennai, plus took a toll on the groundwater. The city, which had a population of 6 million at the time, was receiving only about half of the amount of water it normally uses every day. Some areas had water in their pipes only once every three or four days, and the water could stay for just one hour or two. Still facing drought and some man-made issues, the city of now 11 million isn't faring much better today. Number 8. Los Angeles, California, United States Los Angeles is a sprawling southern Californian city and the center of the nation's film and television industry. Near its iconic Hollywood sign, studios such as Paramount Pictures, Universal and Warner Bros. offer behind-the-scenes stores. On Hollywood Boulevard, TCL Chinese Theater displays celebrities' hand and footprints. The work of the fame honors thousands of luminaries and vendors sell maps to stars' homes. Los Angeles is under more water stress than any other U.S. city according to a 2014 report. Even though L.A. has groundwater and aqueducts to nearby rivers, it's been criticized for poor drought planning. About 80% of the city's rainfall ends up in the ocean instead of pipes because of ironically drainage systems built to prevent flooding. The city is making efforts to reduce evaporation from its reservoirs and recycle more water to prepare for longer droughts and a growing population. Number 9. Dakar, Bangladesh Dakar is the capital city of Bangladesh in Southern Asia. Set beside the Boringanga River, it's at the center for national government, trade, and culture. The 17th century old city was the Mongol capital of Bengal, and many palaces and mosques remain. American architect Louis Kahn's National Parliament houses complex typifies the huge, fast growing modern metropolis. As of 2016, the groundwater levels in Bangladesh's capital had dropped 200 feet from the point when they were 50 years before and the level is expected to keep dropping 9 more feet every year. Experts fear that over-pumping water in Dakar leaves too little clean water for communities outside the city, but the big city isn't immune to the water crisis. As seawater started seeping into the drinking water supplies, Dakar is left with less and less drinkable water. Number 10. Bangalore, India Bengaluru, also called Bangalore, is the capital of India's southern Karnataka state. The center of India's high-tech industry, the city is also known for its parks and nightlife. Baikobon Park, Vindana Suda, is a new Dravidian legislative building. Former royal residences include 19th century Bangalore Palace, modeled after England's Windsor Castle, and Tipu Sultan's Summer Palace, an 18th century teak structure. Droughts from recent years are causing Bangalore to run out of water. When the Silicon Valley of India doubled its population in the 2000s, 
urban development filled in hundreds of lakes and prevented rain from soaking into groundwater. In 2016, one professor predicted the lack of water which would make the city unlivable within four years. While he took that doomsday prediction back, officials still worry he might not be far off. About half of the city's population relies on tanks of water because the pipes have run dry and tensions are flaring among citizens and the private water tanker owners over changing them. Number 11. Melbourne, Australia Melbourne is the coastal capital of the southern eastern Australia state of Victoria. At the city centre is the Modern Federation Square development with plazas, bars, restaurants by the Yarra River. In the South Bank area, the Melbourne Arts Precinct is the site of Art Centre Melbourne, a performing arts complex and the National Gallery of Victoria with Australian and Indigenous art. Between population growth and climate change, a recent Melbourne Water Report estimated the city could start using more water than its dams can supply as early as 2028. Even a proposal to build up a desalination plant which makes hot water drinkable would only increase water supply by about 0.1%. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment below, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos.